everyone! So my name's Audrey and this is my spine. So this is my scoliosis. And being the first video after the introduction for the Schroff method, I wanted to show you my x-ray and a lot of things I learned just by hanging it up on the window. So first of all, I want to say that when I was first diagnosed about 10 years ago, um, I was told that I only had two curves. Okay, so my first curve, the largest curve right here, is my lumbar curve, which is about 42 degrees, okay? My second largest curve is right here, which is my thoracic curve, which is about 21 degrees. Now, most of my life, I thought that I only had two curves. And later did I find out about nine years later that I had not only two, but three curves. My third curve was in my neck. And um, this is one of my first x-rays and I'm using this one because it's more clear. But um, my neck had slowly got worse over the years. So it's not as bad in this x-ray. But it's right here and it's eight degree curve now. So it basically goes kind of like a snake, like back and forth, back and forth. And um, the neck degrees is really bad because your head weighs about seven to 12 pounds. And it's important for your neck to be balanced and level. So not only does my neck have a curve, but it's also lost a lot of the arch. Your neck is supposed to have arch sideways to distribute the weight properly. And my neck has straightened more. So the weight from my head is not distributed properly, which had caused me a lot of pain throughout the rest of my body. Now, when I went to my Schroff Method teacher, she hung up my x-ray first thing when I met with her. I didn't need a new one. She just told me to bring my most recent one. And she looked through them and tried to find the most clear one. She hung it up on the window. And she sat there and she studied it and she examined it for a while. And what she found was that not only did I have three curves, but I have four curves. And my fourth curve is right here at my sacrum, my L5, about L4. And it's a very slight curve, so it's easily missed. But it's actually probably the most important curve. And this is because um, this is where the scoliosis starts visually. Now, um, they're finding now that scoliosis starts in the brain. They haven't quite figured it out yet, but something going on in the brain. But um, visually, scoliosis starts at the bottom. And it begins to twist at the bottom. So you can't really see that as well with x-ray, but it begins to twist like a slight twist and it goes around and up and so it's important to try to straighten out your scoliosis that you work from the bottom up kind of how you breathe you want to breathe from your diaphragm out of your mouth okay so this curve is very important now I haven't had this curve measured but it's almost similar to my neck curve so it almost um, replicates what's going on at the top. So this is very important to know because you need to go to somebody that is going to take the time not just do a quick x-ray tell you have two curves and whatnot. Go to somebody that's going to take the time to actually study your x-rays and tell you how to improve it, what you should do and what not. If I just went and got that surgery done a while back ago, 
Um, I probably would have never even known that I had this curve. It's also important to not only study your curves, but also study um, your ribs and your muscles. A lot's going on in your body and a lot you can see and a lot you cannot see. So there's a lot that plays into scoliosis, but this um, video I just mainly wanted to show you that I have four curves, not two, not three, but four. And um, you may have more curves too than you think you do. So, so yeah, just keep that in mind. And I look, I hope you watch my next videos. I'll probably be doing the next one on a more comfortable way to sit in your car for people that have back pain in general and um, specifically people that have scoliosis. Okay, have a great day. Bye.